I've got some more graphene. It's time for another technical talk. And today I have Innovate Rocklite 275 graphene shoe. What the fuck is the name? Rocklite 275 is the description above probably made it abundantly obvious. As many of you will be aware, this is not the first Innovate shoe I've reviewed. On my website, I've done them for many a year, be it with me on my outdoors. And I've been lucky for Innovate to send me this product for review. It's not sponsored, it's not paid for, it is entirely my opinion. The Rocklite 275 is the lightest shoe in the Rocklite family, and in the Rocklite family you've also got boots for example. What sets this apart from many of its other relatives is this little thing, G-Grip. So the outsole is covered in Innovate G-Grip, their graphene infused special blend of rubber. It's supposed to be a lot grippier than the standard sticky rubber, which is amazing given that thing does stick like the proverbial, but also it's supposed to be very good for wear. And wear is a key thing with a sticky rubber. A soft compound often wears out quicker and therefore you need to buy them more regularly. And then that's when the internet forums light up with people talking about different brands with sticky rubbers and they're not lasting. So I'm going, why on earth do they do this? Well, Innovate may have come up with a solution. As with many Innovate shoes, the 275 stands for 275 grams. It's quite straightforward. And that's normally around a size eight or size nine. I run a size 10, so slightly, slightly more. So this being a rock light, it's a rock specialist. And I haven't had too many rocks to run on. I live near Milson Keynes. It's known for sand. However, I did run up a mountain in Wales last week wearing these on slate and they gripped, they really did grip for wet roots. For all the normal trail stuff, these have also been very, very good. Now I don't know if you can see, but the outsole has the six mil lugs. On these, they have little grippers, like little, little, there's a there's texture. On the ones that are a bit fresher, you can still see the little indentations for that little bit of extra purchase. Now, where I predominantly run, you can see where they're kind of worn down a bit. Now these are about 70 miles so far, and I've done a lot of just general use as well. So I, I will wear these quite regularly because they're comfy. You also have the Meta Plate for rock protection. You've got the Meta Flex, which are this groove right here. So it gives you the flexibility. And you have the Terra Adapter at the back. There's a lot going on, a lot of names. Ultimately, it grips, it stays with you. You've still got flexibility, though the rear hasn't got the same flexibility because you've got an eight mm drop and you've got their power flow cushioning. It allows you to run longer distances more comfortably. And if you're running on rock, you don't have the same compliance you get from running a fell, a bog, a moor, sand. The best place to test the cushioning is the road. So I always start most of my runs off with a road run, like most of you will. It's almost like wearing a road shoe. And I remember we had the power flow in the, the road shoes a few years ago, and I actually ended up running the London Marathon in them. It's something that I've seen adopted into a lot of the range. It's something I'm actually a, a big fan of. Up top, there's plenty of protection. You've got a big rand around the toe. You've got a nice bit of soft stretch mesh on top. And then you've got the adapter web, which means your foot can expand and contract. It's not just gonna hold it right down. All day comfort is effectively the best way of thinking about it. I actually quite like where the lacing is. You've got these small bits of paracord, which is part of the web. It just makes me think about climbing, mountaineering. It's just a nice little nod to the outdoors, though being innovate, it'll have a practical reason. They generally don't tend to just stick things on for the sake of it. On Innovate's fit scale, this comes in at a three. Now they have a one to five, one being the tightest, five being the widest. Personally, I tend to prefer things down the, the narrower side of the Innovate, the precision when we think about the X talons, that side of thing. I've gotten well with this. I ran a fifth at a Maverick race short course down the Chilterns. This has been used in anger, but if I was on really technical terrain and I was just going balls to the wall, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna set, I'm never gonna win a race. Please, if anyone can give me a race that I can win, just let me know, because I haven't got the speed. If I was going for a really technical, crazy, long run, mountains, ridges, 
rocks, near death. I prefer to have it slightly narrower. So if I could have like a, a one or a two on the fit scale, that would be my preference. Just for those more extreme environments. Not for every day. And I think they've hit the sweet spot in that middle section. Looks wise, it's not as cool as some of the others. To be fair, it's just one, it's just a subtle shoe. It blends in. I've worn this with bloody chinos and no one said anything. It'd be cool to have some layery colors. As always, if you look in the description below, you will find an extensive long review of the Rocklight 275. It'll have loads of images if you wanna zoom in and have a good detailed peruse and lots and lots more words. It's time to hit the trail. Enjoy your run, stay safe, find mountains, send pictures to me. It's flat where I live. I wish there was mountains.